John, VTO gets out of range of the Syndra ultimate by some time, manages to trade his life. One for one, the Meganar comes here back because the stop point comes out. Here it's going low, less than a thousand. He's taken out. Inspired needs the resets to break the hearts of all Misfits fans. But Kobe stays alive. The shield bone keeps him out. He finally goes no. down. Inspired's got the reset. It's a 2v1. Looking for another. Resorts in so much trouble. Inspired with the blade of the Ruined King. Diego shuts down Misfits. For the ace, the pentakill, and nine members on the rift are dead. Rogue are in absolute control. Inspired loses all his teammates, but... Wait, wait, what's going... <gasps> They're <gasps> dancing! It's <gasps> a five-man <gasps> Aram dance! Look at them go! <sighs> yeah. That's what I like to see. Ooh, yeah. ooh. Look at the Zach Last moves. games. Who's yeah. winning? Wait, Whoever hits first, hey, hey, stop hitting! Bender. Stop it! Bender. Hey, no! Whoa, 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 whoa! Wait, find that uh, man! Whoa, whoa, find whoa, that man! Whoa. Find that man! Oh, man, I feel like we're the people oh, at the bar pulling God. them back, yeah, you know? Yeah, it's yeah, like, hey, yeah, hey, leave yeah, him alone, yeah, leave him alone. Yeah, yeah. Break it up, break it up. Break, break it, it up. up. This is a club. What does this look like? Summoner's Rift to you? Oh, man. We're here for a dance party. Oh, I wish SK might turn their eyes towards this Baron. Jezu does not have the best guns. Really, you want Crescendum, White Gun, to get through a Baron, or Severum to heal him up, but Lilith can tank it. Mega Inferno Bop, Super Mega Death Rocket. Keep getting those confused, goes in. There's the Paranoia. Straight onto Upset. Treats able to walk over the Flame Chompers. Upset, even went to cleanse, will not be enough. Adam, though, now can fight up against Treats. Lilith walks straight into the waiting arms of Rippo. Treats looking for the Blast Cone, but the show stopper will stop his show as he gets caught out. SK K forced off the Baron, Fnatic still on the chase, Whippo going forward, SK retreating, it's the chase five members into the enemy jungle, into getting forced off the own Baron, to getting two kills on the enemy mid lane, to TPing into the top lane, it's a classic strategy, Medias, and Fnatic know how to do it, it's to die, that TP sucked! <laughs> I'm Faker, holy s**t! Nice! Oh my god! Thanks for making Viego Riot. Rogue take down Misfits! 3 to 2! Cheers at a kill a minute across them. This time around, a much more tempered approach. And it feels like it'll come down to who can play the lanes better. Niski is trying to run down VTO. Support from Misfits will come out in a moment or two. Another gold card connects, and Niski will just about do it. Fantastically played. VTO had no options at all. Watch the window where they can force a four versus five fight. The Twisted Fate Ultimate range at level 16 is so huge, but just watch what El Yoya does here. So he splits off from the team, Kazi's kind of left to fend for himself, all of G2 are focusing onto Humanoid, and El Yoya takes so much damage. But then look at him, Reckless and Caps, they just think, okay, this is a free kill. Look at how much damage he's doing to Reckless on the backline. Ultimate, auto is Q, he's able to get that execute, a thousand gold goes into his back pocket. Pretty hard to kill with that, which you can. Both slowed with the Cerildus Grudge. No inhibitor tower gone down yet for Fnatic, but Vitality have got one. And it's then going forward. The dodge to the side, the true shot rush doesn't quite hit. Leader, though, shielded, somehow survives for such a long time with the undertow into the Gore Drinker. Gore, blimey, that's a lot of healing coming out from Brepo. I don't think you should be allowed to survive that TP coming in. And who was that joining the fight? It was Shigenda. He will just back oh, away with the I was looking team. on the minimap, but yeah, he just so TP'd on top of that. <laughs> Xander, he's able to flash away right now. That Encore board sometime, plus the exhaust. We're both going to try to stand on no. that rumble, but he interrupted it. Doesn't manage to escape. Instant pause coming out there. As we'll have to take a close look. Vanda managing to survive. No, they're on the caster desk. Not. Yeah. Oh, Humor, that's be careful here. Vanda's right next to him. Right. Ooh. And try to step back here. Good damage could fall from Humanoid. He really knows his damage numbers here. Yeah, you can see Vanna tried to predict Humanoid's W back oh. with the Q. Oh? Uh, oh. Uh, oh! Got it, baby! That's a shutdown! Whirling Death living up to its name. A misfit now trying, trying to get away, but there's the root. Reckless rooted on the backline. Hibbert jumping in. The Crescent Guard's going to do a lot of work here for Yankos, and now Hibbert is the one who has the flash for safety. Cannon Barrage comes out. Locket used. Mickey dives in with the charm, and Hibbert's down! And he saved the Shockwave for that moment. Caps hits it. Kobe will not quite fall. He'll be the last one standing as Reckless is jumping forward, looking for the kill. Gets the speed up 
from the Oriana. One auto attack and a satchel ticking, ticking, ticking. And Cobby says a final goodbye. Reckless takes the shutdown. This is well, Barrel's chucked out. Adam below 1,500 hit points. A flash board. That's a gold card. Cannon Barrage doing a lot of work, but that's a stun. The root. It's Hilly saying that's down. All of a sudden, VTO can't join the fray with the teleport. He's jumped into the back line. Niski trying to find the wild cards. Misfits have bought themselves a small lifeline. Baron empowered members of Fnatic can threaten the Elder. And Misfits are inside the pit. Upset. He's got himself the white and the purple guns. Teleport. This can't be real. He, he finds the barrels. He finds. Blippo, that means there's no smite for the Elder, but Adam rejoins the fight with full HP. He managed to regen underneath the tower, and he picks up the kill onto Razor. Neither jungler for either team, but Misfits are getting ruined and wrecked and destroyed by upsets of Filios. VTO's the last man standing, and Fnatic can turn their attention to the Elder Drake. They're not doing that just yet. They're trying to make sure that the pit is clear. There's no feast just yet for Adam either. And Vito, he might try and kill Upset. Oh, Upset says a lot. For a few moments longer, the, the Wolves looking for the auto attacks. Not going to do no! just what they finally do. Upset secures the eight. And he's not even with the team right now. Misfit's going to knock on the door, set their sights on this third inhibitor. Teleport's coming out. That's the bottom lane. Niski, as well as Upset, are going to try to push this one. It's a five versus three in the base. The Realm Wolf is going to push the minions no into way. the Nexus turrets. Niski and Upset are now being focused. They've got themselves a kill. All of a sudden, Fnatic turn their attention to the second Nexus top. They've got no more minions to work with. Misfits in the bottom lane are now focusing down the remaining members of Fnatic. The dashboard from Whippo. All of a sudden, here it's forced away. No minions mean the, the buff towers are going to be so difficult to deal with. Kobe and Resort on the Nexus turrets. Well, Hillisang is trying to slow them down. Trying to stop them. Van has been able to recall, rejoin Hirit. That's a hop forward from Upset. The cleanse, the exhaust comes out, and Kobe focuses down the Nexus. Fnatic tried to take Misfits down, but we're going to game five. And that was such a creative. He's just done exactly what his team needs him to do. And now Niski's going to initiate this fight. We're going to focus on the teleporters. Adam will jump into the fray. We'll get back to this in just a moment. It's Fnatic have already found themselves a kill there onto Vanda. Continuing to push forward into the red buff. Resort left alone, split off from Kabi and VTO. The teleports from Fnatic. He finally engaged. Rogue have not started Elder. It's a risk. That's it. Razor gets caught. Once again, scatter the weak. The volley comes out. Oh my word. Nobody is yet able to fight. Meganoth finally blocked. This has to be the go signal. The Meganoth comes backwards. Not going to find the stun just yet. Kobe's trying to get the damage out, but it's already lost. And it's gone south. One, two, three members of Misfits are falling. That's it. Rogue have done it. After 30 minutes and an inspiring performance from Inspire. What of that? Yeah, and he has TP, so he will fall behind in CS, but he won't fall behind in XP. He should be able to TP back pretty easily, but I think the biggest worry I have here is Mad Lions can dive bolts really easily if jungle's on around the cover. Kabe has no mana. Karzi now stepping no mana. forward. Oh, it's the T1 special! First blood on a no mana 80 carry. Karzi grabs On Draven it. as well! You have no mana! And first back blood. Back uh... Karzi gets first blood and bot. The wave is fine. Koba should TP back. Kobe, sorry. Vantage, hear it. Kobe, Vanda are around. The Encore is available. When does Vanda throw it? It has to be huge. Hear it is not out. The Realm Warp is being channeled and jumping right on top of Hear it. The Nod comes back. The Encore catches five. And we have another pause. Oh, my word. Are you kidding me? Again? Oh, my <laughs> word. <laughs> not again. <laughs> I, I, in the middle of a team fight. In the middle. Wait, of Yankos and Reckless happy to tank this one up. Neon from over the wall. They got a lot of tools to steal. At Hex Flash, limit debating how he wants to get the pit. Maybe he wants 3K, to knock away getting lower. Reckless. Yankos gonna take that one. He pushed nuclear into the pit. He has nuclear no flash. Into the middle of the entire team. Shao is getting absolutely decimated. Limit. Yes, he's tanky, but nothing else is getting done. Yankos goes over the wall instantly. Curie, they're now trying to turn it back in. They take down Yankos. Now getting the shutdown as well. That is the power of the Elder Drake. Flash over the wall from Mickey. The hook goes a little bit wide, but Kire getting taken down. Broken play. Let's just take a minute at the beginning of this post-game analysis, maybe Ender, since you were in our Slack channel just going like, this is such a great game. This is so fun to watch. What was so exciting for you or the most exciting about this match? Honestly, it was just like full-on limit testing the entire game. Like the first...
think they fell apart in the final weeks, and now they need to... They're off on the flank, the one that you need to keep your eyes on. Caps as well. A big shockwave can turn the fight instantly. Mickey taking a decent amount of poke here, but Shalka going to get first access to the mid wave. G2 are going to be have to be willing to give up something to secure this elder. G2 have to start it. Shalka has to walk in. It's going to be hard for them to do so, but Limit just Flash pulls the trigger. Mickey now knocked in the middle of the team. They're trying to shred through the elder as quickly as they can. They have a Callista potentially to secure the smite. It should be difficult, but they're now pulling away. That's a shockwave. That's a knockback. Nuclear Antho over the wall. Wonder on the backside. He's trying to take down Neon. The entire coordination of G2 is coming in clutch, but Broken Blade remains untouched. The GP, the last source of damage. Will he be enough? No. G2, they've turned the fight. Wonder has found the flank, and it is everything that G2 needed. The Baron for Shalka. Okay, let me see. Let me see really fast. So... Oh, All yeah. right, so No, but away. is this because this skin of Renekton is really bad, by the way. Like, you can't <laughs> see if he has uh, the, the stun charge. Like, I'm not joking. You can't see. <laughs> I, couldn't, I couldn't see that he had the stun charge. That's why I went in. Okay, I breathed my, my W. I shouldn't miss the W. But... That skin okay. should be banned. Like, that skin is not legal, by the way. Okay, I, I love the read on that. Uh, love it. Uh, final I love Kaiser's build. Class. It's a very, um, I like to call it the giant build. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. The Kaiser the giant build? Yeah, you like this? The triple belt. The fisty belt? Yeah. Uh, is that what it is, right? It's a fisty, yeah, it's a fist. Yeah. Oh, yeah? Yeah, okay. I never think about what <laughs> okay. items. No, yeah, I, I, I was just wondering picture. for a second there. Yeah, definitely. Okay. <laughs> sure, man. Why are you going to be... Bro, it's not awkward unless you make it awkward. No, I know, it's not. The, no, I can see it. I, I can fine. see it on the icon. I can see it. We can't call it the fisty ball? All right, here we go. Kaiser getting aggressive. A lot of belts. And he's looking to unleash them on the side of Misfits. And they're certainly catching a whooping. <laughs> <laughs> We're not good at casting games that don't have stakes. I don't know what to oh, do. Oh, man. <laughs> That's the mid lane. Still has the hex to cultivate him and locks down Kobe. Gets himself another kill. The rest of Fnatic, they jump back into the pit. Razork still has his flashing smite available. I don't know if they can continue on this one because the solar laners are respawning now. It's down to half HP. Razork, as you said, still has that smite. Oh. So this is going to be crazy. He's going to have to burger flip it. Can Razork get into the pit? Sonic Wave lands. Resonating strike available, but will just about time out. Flash is up. Adam jumps forward. Not going to be able to kill him just yet. And Razork's running for his life. Fnatic have thwarted the threat for now. Baron is still low. Berzor jumps into the pit. It's the final hit. It's Misfits that get the Baron. Fnatic cannot find the final shot. All of a sudden, hear it. He's now running for his life. Vandesia, the next target. The hook shot into the GA means that Hirit will finally go down. Vito dashes in, dashes out. That's at least one, two Barons down. Vito's taking Fnatic on a run for the moment and finally stopped. The but Gwen, the Viego, the Aurelia as well are all going to be really impactful because those champions were so incredibly high on priority uh okay cassiopeia okay Cassio. um work it. i'm getting a little distracted there uh back to the back to the analysis though um no i lost it uh, yeah. <laughs> tell me about nidalee flex picks nerfed <laughs> Oh, Nidalee? Honestly, so Nidalee's uh, an interesting one because the, the buffs to her weren't huge, but I feel like these buffs are going to make her like even more of a threat when you look at like other leagues. Like LPL loves their Nidalee. So let's see if they can take down Misfits in our final game. Welcome back, everyone. Yay! <laughs> yeah. Yay! Yay! I'm happy to see me too, Sharks. Yay! Thank you very much. Uh, Blue buff to see if Razok would go for the cross map, uh, or the split map rather, and... Uh, now, Adam on the weak side, as Law was talking about, is going to take a not so favorable trade here. Is at risk oh, of is bad for him. getting dived here. He flashes forward, flash away from him. It's Razzle flashes in, wind becomes lightning, goes wide. Adam's going to try and heal up. He survives, he kills Razzle. Yeah, they're trying to trade the Soul for the Baron right now, which is definitely a worthwhile trade for Fnatic. Without Kobe, this becomes a lot harder, but Razzle trying to go flash. for the steal. VTO has perfect execution. VTO can dive in, dive out. Twilight Shroud gets him back. Razzle. Goes in, slight secured from Gwipo, and Gwipendor come out on top in that individual play. There's the equalizer, Himit dives back onto Vanda with the safeguard, but Fnatico on a rampage, Fnatico on the run towards Misfits. Vanda goes in, VTO's dominating, Kobe dives in with the killer instinct as well, and Vanda may have just turned this fight on its head with a single headbutt. Triple kill for VTO, a second quadra of the game, and are they going to give it to them? Are they going to give VTO his first pentakill of the LEC? Well, Adam is not. He will retreat. But Misfits will win the... Part of me feels that Rogue is being undersold a little bit. 
Uh, I think that Rogue are being underestimated in what they're capable of. Now, Niski has spent a lot of time in bot lane looking for a pick. This is a huge time investment, and Larson is just confused right now. This is so much farm that Niski's losing, and he's not going to get anything for it. That is an entire... Well, I mean, he hasn't lost any CS just yet. He's lost one minion. He's lost one. He's going to lose... He'll get the XP for this second one, but I think he loses the minion itself. Does he lose that third one as well? Hillsang jumped on here as Hans Summer looks for the damage as well. Ignite ticking on Hillsang. That bend is going to do a lot of work. It looks like ticks down. And Niski spends time in the bottom lane, gets nothing, and immediately when he leaves, Hillisang dies! Got this Herald as well, but look at the rest of the map. The supports are on their way as well, so we could potentially have another skirmish unfold. 2,300 hit points, Rezog jumps into the pit. BTO's here, flanked by two members, and that is the Herald secured and picked up. That's a defensive kick away, as now Whippo is knocked back. BTO's trying to find the stun, and here comes Hirich as well. Four versus three, and Misfits find another kill. Hillisang's thinking about the engage and decides better of it. Two Fnatic members fall and Miss Edge Line will be able to catch out Inspired. The Ash Arrow flies down. That stuns up Rel. Not going to have the ultimate available. Vander's already thrown out his. The first kill secured traded support for support, but that's a dead Odo one day. VTO escapes with his life and here it's running for his own. The re-engage from Inspired. Resort and VTO trying to get the damage. The tree three talent strike will slow things down and here it gets taken up by Hansama. Whoa, Hansama literally in an absolute showcase. Inspired, thank you so much for joining me. That was an extremely dominating performance. What went well today? How are you feeling? Uh, I feel great, especially being an Inspired skin. I guess now I'm Inspired and I'm not myself anymore. <laughs> but, um, I mean, it was great. Um, draft on 12, we kind of got what we wanted. Um, yeah, I mean, I think Bodling got the solo bolo at, at level one, and then Inspire just uh, kills him level two. And it's uh, a game. And the problem is that while here it was able, oh, that's the dredge line. The enchanted crystal arrow comes out, but nobody's dead yet. Oh, the one there, your Gwen, snip, 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 needlework, doing the job. VTO gets out of range of the Syndra ultimate by some time, manages to trade his life one for one. The Meganar comes here back, it? but the stopwatch comes out. Here it's going low, less than a thousand. He's taken out. Inspire needs the resets to break the hearts of all Misfits fans, but Kobe stays alive, the shield bone keeps him up, that? finally goes no. down, Inspired's got the reset, it's a 2v1, looking for another, Resort's in so much trouble, Inspired with the blade of the Ruined King, Diego shuts down Misfits for the ace, the pentakill, and nine members on the rift are dead, Defeated his first item already, and she's coming out ahead in the health, they don't know Inspired. oh my here. god, there's no way Inspired read this play. They but don't he's... know Inspired here. He knew the Scuttle Crab was available on the top side. He knew that Whippo would want to go for it. And now he's in the perfect spot. Inspired just reads them. Crescent Guard's going to knock back Niski Narsen so low. But Inspired! How oh, are you this smart? That, that was so <laughs> flipping <I> just... <laughs> He's just, his brain is too big, man. He potentially in no man's land. It looks like he might want that kill on the cards. Oh, Ignite, a little bit more damage, but he can't pop the barrel. One more auto, he wants to finish it, but it's oh. not gonna work. No, he gets it in the end. It's a one for one. So well played by Mickey. He had no flash in Mad Lions, knew it. El Yoya came down because his bot camps respawned there. They tried to get the kill. Mickey, great turn on Takarzi. Wow. Uh, I'm very surprised that Mickey was able to pull that one off. I thought he was CC'd long enough that he needed one more auto attack off. But let's have a look back at this quick replay. So the engage comes down onto Reckless. He immediately reacts and is able to create... In the bottom lane. He's pulled four members of Rogue. It's a 15-second death timer for Nuketak and a 10-second for Kryz. Patrick will continue to bring... Hans Sama is killing the Nexus Towers. The four items available to him. The crash down, the pullback, and Hans Sama left alone on the Nexus. Rogue, oh, a couple shots away from taking it out. Here comes Odo as well. Kryz simply does not have the ability to stop it. Finally, the Nexus will go down and Rogue defeat XL. He just let his team... Uh, yeah, it hasn't, hasn't been the greatest week of scrims coming up to these games. Uh, I know that feel. I had a week of scrims in XL once in 2020 where we went 1-24 and 24 in scrims. You know what happened that weekend? <laughs> we went 2-0, baby. And that was one of only 2-0s of, of the entire year. I would really love as a, you know, an analyst, someone who talks about League of Legends, if, if, if coaches or support staff or whoever is responsible for this could figure out a way to make scrims actually translate to stage result, because we deal with this every year, the start of every season, moving towards international events, moving towards playoffs. Mm -hmm.